All right, guys, I have to admit, I've been buying up every disc detainer lock that you guys have recommended. This is a brand new, I just cut it out of the package, Kryptonite Keeper 5-S2 Disc Lock designed for disc brakes. It's got a little plunger, you slide it over your disc brake, you push the lock in. I, I haven't even tried it yet, but Kryptonite's a good name, I trust the darn thing works. And that little hardened steel shackle passes through the air cooling vent of your disc and holds it on there. There's also a safety orange thing, and I, I did read the package. You're supposed to attach that to the lock and then drape that like over your handlebars as a reminder that this thing, even though it's bright yellow, it'd be hard, it'd be easy to miss. You know, bad weather, you're cold and everything, but you don't want to forget this is on your disc when you when you start up your bike and take off, because your second reminder would be when you fly over your handlebars when this thing locks up. Anyway. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that stuff. Let's give it a shot. It is very heavy, cast aluminum, high visibility yellow, pretty tough. I don't see any real weaknesses. I mean, you could probably, with some time, cut through here with a hacksaw, but or even you know through there even. But we're going to talk about picking it. It is a disc detainer, little weather protection thing there, and this is one of the few locks that doesn't really have the lock countersunk into the body. They wanted to keep it compact. What they did do, though, if you look in there, you can see they have very skinny or narrow discs. So they can pack a bunch of discs into a small space. When I try the Chinese lock on something like this, or Chinese lock pick on something like this, I generally pick up two or three discs at a time. So I'm making it really hard to pick. When lock picking lawyer and I designed this tool, we made the tip of it really thin. So this is definitely a possibility if I can get this thing in there. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to take the a broken tensioner. I'm going to rotate all the discs as far clockwise as I can get them. Just want to make sure I got them all because you, if you miss a single one in the back, you're totally screwed. I think I got them. All right. I'm going to line up the tip with the two tensioning prongs, slide them in, and then once I get them into the gate, I'm going to go ahead and push my tension, my pick all the way to the back. Then I'll rotate it and get some tension, and then I'm going to pull it out just to make sure I've only got one disc, the top one, and that is it right there. Don't want to try to tension on two discs. That would be not so successful. All right, apply some heavy tension and start bringing it back out. I am looking for a binder. There's a binder right there. Wow, we'll let off a little tension. And I think we just hit a gate. Okay, next one. Let off a little tension. I, I'm over torquing, I think. Got him, next one. These are coincidentally lining up with the lines on the pick. That doesn't happen very often. There's a gate. I felt a little turn on the core. Next one. I felt a little turn on the core, and it's definitely a gate, nice and wide. Next one. Feels like a gate. And what I believe is the last one because we're at the extent of my pick. Oop, fell off him. I'm really not sure if that's the gate. That might be the gate right there at the top. All right, we obviously are missing somebody. So I'm going to slide all the way to the bottom and then we're just going to check everybody again. Oops, fell off. Oops, come on, baby. That one doesn't quite line up with the line. And there we go. That is all there is to it, guys. This little tool makes it a lot easier because not only can you see by the lines exactly where you are on which disc, you can tell by how much is turning. And then as I rotate it, you probably saw me checking the width of the gate. If you have false gates, it'll be very narrow normally. And when you have the regular gate, it's nice and wide. So when you pick it, Turn it so that you leave the disc centered in what you believe is the real gate. 
give you a better chance of getting into these things. Anyway, enough lessons, Bill. Shut up. Show us the key. I want to know what it looks like, too. All right, there's what she looks like, nice and narrow. And it better work. But if it doesn't, we don't need the stinking key, right? There we go. It does work. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. What a mess you made of this desk, man.